Hello and welcome. In this short video, I will introduce the basic principles of our new government-funded project HEART, Humanoid Emotional Assistant Robots in Teaching. We will first look at the basic principles of digital education. We will then discuss the role of humanoid robots within digital teaching and learning formats and will eventually look at the goals of our project HEART. So let's start with the central principles of digital education which most people associate with a model where a human teacher delivers academic content at one place at a given time to an audience using presentation tools such as PowerPoint or other learning technologies. In a second phase which is self-guided or traditionally speaking a homework phase the content delivered in phase one is deepened. Well, and here we have digital material made available via a learning management system, material that ranges from PDF documents to live digitized lectures. However, this is nothing but a mere augmentation of classical teaching with digital elements, nothing more but a cosmetic correction of what we have been doing for ages. No new didactics, no new course formats. To cope with the challenges of the 21st century, we need a new model which integrates a complex arsenal of digital elements and scenarios into phase one, which is now self-guided and has an additional phase of deepening which can either be offered on campus or online. And this integration model is not a future option. It has been fully operational since 2006, at least in my team and in my educational environment. Inverted classroom formats, two-in-one formats, flexible on-campus courses, specialized on-campus online courses, massive open online courses or permanent massive open online courses have become standard teaching formats. Furthermore, assessment has become fully electronic even allowing internet access. In other words, the future is already here, at least on the virtual linguistics campus. But what is next? Well, we are sure that artificial intelligence will bring further progress to teaching and learning. And this involves, among others, the integration of humanoid robots as new teaching assistants. But what exactly are humanoid robots? Well, here is an overview. We differentiate between non-humanoid and humanoid robots. Humanoid robots in turn can be android, that is, not similar but alike humans. Well, and as clones of real humans, we call them geminoid. For several reasons, which we already worked out in heart, the simple humanoid variant seems to be the most suitable one. But will it be accepted? Well, in a modern society, humanoid robots are already used in public as eye-catchers, to draw attention, to advertise and so on, in fact, in many industrial nations. But in business situations, their degree of acceptance varies. High in Japan, but low elsewhere. And in private life? Japan seems to have accepted humanoid robots more than any other country. The goal of HART is to find out whether humanoid robots could also be used in education and not only in Japan but in Germany too. But how can this be achieved? Well, transferred to our digital teaching and learning model, this means that Whereas in the digital phases, software solutions using artificial intelligence methods will be a suitable option, in the in-class phases, 
humanoid robots may play a significant role. But what will such robots do? Let's take a look. In the in-class phase of an inverted classroom scenario, human coaches do no longer teach in the classical sense, but they help, they support, they assist and so on. And here, robots may come in to do exactly the same. Assist and advise. But what type of robots do we need? Perhaps size is an important issue. Maybe they shouldn't be as small as these fellows, whose height is way below one meter, but not too tall like some of these. In other words, tall enough to be taken seriously, but still small enough to be considered inferior to humans like these two guys. With such humanoid robots, we hope to support the in-class phase of our digital teaching model where human coaches still are in charge and have full control, but want more time for competence training, sometimes need naive questions for didactic simplification, and where they need a lot more freedom for individual coaching. Humanoid robots may help here, and it is our goal in heart to find out how. Using our two robots, Nao and Pepper, who can both see, listen, move, speak, detect objects and can show emotions, we will test and develop robot apps, mainly for Pepper, in order to find out how humanoid robots can be employed beneficially in class. In a second video, I will show you how this goal can be achieved and what type of robot apps we have in mind and how these apps work. Until then, stay tuned.